So today I am going to be making my mom's homemade tuna noodle casserole. However, I'm going to substitute the tuna for chicken, which I'm going to pre-bake in the oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Um, it only takes two chicken breasts to make this recipe. And um, I pre-season with olive oil, uh, garlic, pepper blend, and a dash of sea salt uh, to give it a little more seasoning while it's cooking before I shred it to put it in with the um, pasta noodles. So um, mom's tuna noodle casserole recipe um, is one bag of shell noodles, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, um, I use Campbell's, it doesn't matter what brand. Um, three cans of tuna drained. If you're making chicken noodle casserole, you just use the two chicken breasts, um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Or if you want to make tuna noodle casserole, three cans of tuna. One can of milk, so you're not using measuring cups or anything, you just pour it into the empty um, soup can to measure your milk. One onion, one pack of mushrooms diced, one can of black olives diced, a tablespoon of butter, garlic, and pepper. Um, and then I mix about um, a pound of mixed cheese, which is going to be cheddar and mozzarella to give it a more creamy, cheesy texture to it. And then mom normally would uh, smash up some Lay's potato chips, the original, and dress them over the top and bake them. And then you get a crispy top over the the top of them. However, I don't have any Lay's potato chips, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to sprinkle a little extra cheese over the top and show you step by step um, what I'm doing. All right. Make sure that you salt your pasta water. Um, I give a small handful of salt into the water that way the pasta is seasoned in the water um professional chefs always say that your pasta water should taste of the sea uh meaning it should taste like salt water so make sure that it does taste really salty in your water most of that salt does come off when you strain your pasta so it does give your pasta a better flavor and better texture so I boiled my pasta noodles, they're done. I'm gonna strain them off. Got my chicken, it's almost done in the oven. Gonna dice up an onion. Slicing it downwards, leaving a little bit of the root the top makes for small diced onions cooks more evenly when they're all the same size Cook. 
So the onions will cook when you bake it. So I'm just gonna add those in the pan. Now I pre-diced a whole bunch of mushrooms the other day and I vacuum sealed them and put them in my freezer. So I'm gonna go grab those and just put them in here. So they're in freezer bags, they look like this. Pull them away from the counter a little bit. And uh, so just dice them up and you can, you can blanch them for a few seconds and then put them in a bag like this. I didn't blanch them, I just left them raw and vacuum sealed them and put them in my freezer. Um, but I can stick them in a pan of warm water and they'll thaw really fast and then I just Put them in here. I measure about five tablespoons, give or take, because I just eyeball it. Um, so I'm gonna put this in warm water while the chickens finish cooking, and that'll thaw by the time I'm ready to start mixing that. So I just drain them off, and then pretty nifty trick: take your knife and you can dice them inside the can. Just by stirring them with the knife. So, I learned that trick, I believe, from my grandmother. It was either my grandma or my mom. But she'd just sit there and turn the can and just slide her knife around in it. And it dices them up pretty well. So. See, I missed one. Oh boy. Oh well. As a sidebar, while I'm waiting off camera for things to finish cooking, playing dish trainer Jenga. Because you need to clean as you're working, especially when you're in a smaller kitchen. Cleaning is important. So I don't know if any of you moms or dads that do dishes and don't have a dishwasher because your house is too small. Play Jenga or Tetris with your dishes. That's a life skill. So, Jenga's done. Tetris, Jenga, whatever you want to play. Mushrooms are thawed. Chicken is cooked. It's nice and crispy and it's got all the garlic and pepper and herbs and the pasta has been strained so now to assemble my masterpiece anybody else use their sink as a garbage can while they're in the middle of doing stuff and then just to have to clean out your sink when you're done it's so convenient because I can't leave my cupboard door open while I'm cooking to throw stuff in the trash because I have these wonderful Labradors that would have their nose in the business the entire time I was trying to cook. As of now, they are both sitting, staring, and watching me. He got caught, so he ran away. Are you getting caught too? So the mushrooms went through my KitchenAid food processor on the biggest dicing setting that it came with. I am going to stir this up so it's mostly um, even throughout before I put in the pasta noodles and the chicken.
that's good. So, my chicken's finally cool to the touch. Got my big old meat cleaver. And I cut it against the grain first, because it breaks apart really easy when it's cooked all the way through. You can almost shred it with your fingers. Um, as, as I'm cutting it, it's shredding. in there, mushrooms, cream of mushroom soup, onions, one can of milk. Because my chicken was seasoned so heavily with pepper and garlic, I don't think I'm going to need to add any more, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, I know you can never have too much garlic. At least we can never have too much garlic. So now I'm going to add pasta until it's full. real well. And I love doing this with the shell noodles because shell noodles actually retain all of this extra flavor inside the shell, so you actually get more flavor in every bite.
take my grated cheese. I uh, buy the big giant bags of grated cheese when I do buy them in a bag, and then I individually bag them into somewhat more usable portion sizes for my family of three. Just so there's an even coating. See, I didn't use the whole bag. Surprising. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in the oven and bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Finished product should look like this. Slice into that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Little tips, help me in the kitchen, safe dishes. I don't like doing a lot of dishes. Um, I have fun in the kitchen, so if you want to have fun with me, join me in my kitchen for more videos as I keep making them. Thanks, guys.